Do research on taking your GLP-1s every other week. I'm at Obesity Week sharing the latest clinical research around GLP-1s and watching a bunch of talks and reporting back what I'm hearing. So in the first study I watched was Dr. Mitch Bierman, and he is a metabolic and a primary care doctor. And he talks about the real world application of GLP-1s with his patients. And something he calls de-escalating or having the frequency of which people take their GLP-1s. And that's semaglutide and trisepatide. These are his patients in this trial. There were 34 to start with, 30 of which made it to the end. I really appreciated this talk. He talked a lot about that patients are coming forward with this ask to take it every other week because it's expensive, because it's time consuming. There were a plethora of reasons patients were asking for this. And he also pointed out patients are probably doing this even if we don't know. This is the real world application of GLP-1s. And he agreed with patients on doing this when they met two out of three criteria that he defined. Hitting a plateau, reaching their goal weight, or reducing comorbidities. When they met two of three of those, he said it's time for de-escalation. And if you can see this chart in the background, he showed that once people met a plateau here in the center and then de-escalated, they lost an additional one to two percent after that point. Also, the average dose in this trial was seven and a half milligrams of trisepatide or 2.4 of semaglutide, showing that the patients on here weren't even at the highest dose either. And with a half-life of semaglutide and trisepatide being roughly five days, at two weeks, there's roughly 12% of the GLP-1 still circulating in their bodies, which is similar to microdosing. The take-home message I took from this research is listen to your patients. Work with them based on what they want and their preferences and based on what you're seeing. This is personalized medicine, give it personalized care. If you wanna look up more about this, the abstract is published on the Obesity Week website and app if you want to look it up. Mitch Bierman is the researcher that did this. This is not medical advice at all. This is educational content.